السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا خوش أمديد بونجو أولا أوكم تو ذا كيدز توداي أفعال اليوم كوينز جوبلي سبيشال Now today is a big surprise for you guys because we're here in our local Asda car park celebrating the Queen's Jubilee and uh, the Himma charity, is, Himma is a charity in Nottingham who is helping the homeless and needy people so for that they have set up uh, some stores in the car park of Asda, uh, local Asda in Nottingham and they are raising money for the poor so they can help us and today we're going to be going around the uh, Asda store inside and outside asking our customers, our fans, what they're up to and how they're celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. So first of all, let's meet the Asfala Leon crew. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and at least probably told you we're here in Asda's um, car park to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and there's loads of events going on here but we're here for a charity event run by Himar and there are loads of stores from loads of local communities and we're here just to check them out and to have fun celebrate the Diamond Jubilee so let's go to our first I'm standing here um, in a Caribbean type of store so let's go into it African uh, uh, food store called Kono. Uh, located uh, at uh, number four Victoria Market in Nottingham, doing fantastic uh, street food, uh, all sustainable from the store. We are using charcoal, and uh, the duration of cooking is very, very long, so we don't use uh, the energy that's on. To lower the carbon footprint, we use only low energy. So with a bag of coal, we can cook for six hours, and we are very, very, very environmentally friendly. Our food is most of the time served on banana leaves, good for you, good for the environment. It's freshly cooked. Uh, apart a couple of burgers today for some uh, youngsters who might not go on with this. So we're making some nice curry rice here called safari jollof rice. Uh. The one of our favorite um, fan with us today. So, uh, Haslam Walikum. Walikum Salam. Um, hello, and what's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed, how old are you? Wow, you're big. And uh, do you like our program? Do you watch our program? Yes. Well, Mohammed was very nice. And uh, one more question for you. Who's your, who's your favorite? Ali. Can you say that louder? Ali. Yes. Well, another fan of mine. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Europe. I know every single one of you watches us, even though I haven't really been on in, in all of those shows because I've been doing my exams, but I've been watching it and I've been keeping in touch with everyone and they've told me how many calls we've had from loads of different countries and I was really, really excited to hear that. Thank you for all of your calls, thank you for all of your comments, all of your feedback, we really, really appreciate it and hopefully you'll keep it coming and we'll be in your du'as, inshallah. Um, we'll Get in touch with you soon. Obviously, we can't take live calls because we're not in the studio today, and it's really, really exciting. But why are we in the studio? Because um, we're here celebrating in Asda the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, and it's a very, 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 very big event for not only the Queen but all of the UK because the Queen represents who we are, I suppose, um, as British people. The Queen is our icon, our trademark probably. That sounds really weird but it's probably true. Um, so the Diamond Jubilee is the Queen's 60th year on throne, being the Queen of England. And that's a very, very, very long time for someone to be Queen. I know not many people have managed to get there so that's why it's even more exciting because it doesn't happen very often. Queen Victoria managed to get to her Diamond Jubilee but not everyone can and all, as you can see, all of Britain is very, very excited to celebrate it. So we have a big, long, extended weekend, so schools are, yay. And um, we'll be, everyone celebrating in their own way, the Diamond Jubilee. There are barbecues, people are having private parties, and there are local events going on just like this. Um, so the Diamond Jubilee, even though it's celebrating the Queen's reign on the throne, it's for everyone to celebrate and the community to get together and maybe you'll meet up with family that you haven't seen in a while. It's just one big party, that's what it is. Yeah.
Hey, assalamu alaikum. Um, we've got a special person today from Himma who's uh, allowed us to talk to them. Um, so, assalamu alaikum. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, first of all, I'd like to give you a big thank you for letting us speak to you. So, uh, what would you like to tell us about Himma? Himma, uh, we support homeless and poor people in Nottingham by feeding them. And we raise money through events like this and we feed them every Saturday. Wow, that's good. So, um, are you enjoying it today? Yes, it's very nice, but it's a bit chilly today. It's a bit cold. But yeah. Yeah, it's cold and uh, if it was a little bit sunny it would have been better, but never mind. Yeah, British weather. Yeah. Um, well, that was Himera telling us a bit about the Himma Festival. Himma is a charity who is helping homeless people all around Nottingham. And uh, well, it's a big thank you to all of them guys helping the poor people. Because for poor people, they're homeless and everything. So, um, big thank you to Himera. Hello and uh, today, well right now I'm with a lady who is selling cakes for charity. So uh, hello. Hello. And uh, what's your name? I'm Hannah. Well hello Hannah, first of all a big thank you to letting uh, me interview you. Um, so, do you make these cakes? My colleague made them, yes. And, all right. and uh, they look really nice, beautiful. Um, which one's your favourite? I like the blue ones with the blue queen on them, with a the chocolate sponge. <laughs> yeah, well everyone loves chocolate, so are you doing anything special to celebrate the Jubilee? Well, you are right now, and uh, are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying selling the cakes? And um... Yeah, it's really nice, everybody's friendly, it's a nice atmosphere here. Yeah. Just... Yeah. So have you got any uh, aim about how much money you want to get, or like any targets? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to decide that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, uh, that's great. Um, thank you for letting me interview you today. So, thank you, Hannah, and uh, take care. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, bonjour, commerce of France and Europe. Today, we're celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. And right now, we're at the car park, and I'm inside an ice cream one. So let's interview our ice cream one. So I'm going, what's your name? Walaikum salam. My name is uh, Munir Ahmed Chowdhury. And how long have you been doing ice cream business for? Uh, nearly about 10 years. And what made you start an ice cream business? Because uh, my family is doing it, that's what I like. And how do you make an ice cream? I don't know, the machines make it. <laughs> my wife has stopped from... Uh, Luigi's, Kamato Brothers, and a machine make ice cream. Can you show us how to make an ice cream? Okay, that's fine, right? Like that. Okay. <laughs> Does it have something in there that... Yeah. Three flavor, different flavors. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi, thank you for letting Thuk TV interview you today. Um, what's your name? My name's Graham and I'm the store manager here in Asda. Okay, thank you. So, um, tell us a bit about your job and what you do every day. Um, every day I uh, come in early and I go home late and I spend lots of time on the shop floor uh, making sure that our customers are happy with what we've got on offer uh, and making sure that our service is right and making sure that people want to come back and shop with us uh, every week. But I know today isn't just like an ordinary day in Asda, there's loads of things going on, especially outside. I know the weather's really down and horrible, but that doesn't stop us from celebrating the Jubilee. So what made you decide to partner up with Hima and do what you're doing today? Because it's excellent for the community. Yeah, it's a real community-based thing, and uh, we've recently launched a, um, a real community focus within Asda. Uh, and my community colleague uh, Angie Murphy has uh, put this all together with Himmer, uh, the local charity who support uh, six further charitable organisations locally. Um, and it's a good uh, it's a good opportunity to raise a little bit of money, bring some awareness to the issues that uh, are addressed uh, through Himmer, 
and uh, just bringing the community together on the Jubilee Day and having a little bit of fun. Yeah, I know, it's definitely, you see a lot of different communities outside and in Asda as well. It is um, an excellent job and we've all enjoyed it here a lot, even though the weather has been absolutely awful, but uh, so what if it's a bit of a downer? Everyone here has been absolutely lovely and it's just really nice to know that everyone can just team up and do something different for the community. And I know that not many supermarkets do this, which is what makes Asda so different, because I know you um, been working on the community for quite a while now with the green chips and things so what what made you do that because it's not really something you would expect a grocery or a supermarket store to do if you get what I mean. Yeah I think it's um, it's important that we uh, immerse ourselves in the local community particularly here in Heysen Green where in Nottingham it's perhaps the most diverse part of the city. Um, I think it is beneficial uh, particularly for the local community where we are raising money for uh, good causes on a monthly basis. People use our space to do bag packs um, and, and also raise money uh, for their own good causes. Uh, and we've got one uh, exceptional uh, community colleague, uh, Angie, I've mentioned her before, um, and she drives that and uh, everyone in the store uh, gives her the support she needs to ensure that we raise lots of money uh, for local good causes on a monthly basis. I have spoken to her and she's absolutely lovely and it's absolutely lovely as well to know that there are community work going on to make living in Nottingham better and hopefully it will move on maybe to the UK and um, thank you so much for all of your help to our community, I'm sure everyone appreciates it and hopefully it will make our city a better place for everyone to live. So thank you again, thank you Asta for everything and thank you for letting us interview you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Very well. Thank you. Uh, hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have a very, very special person with me today from Asda. Um, hello. Hello. And what's your, what's your name? My name's Angie Murphy. Well, uh, hello Angie and uh, welcome. And first of all, a big thank you to you for letting us interview you. So, um, are you enjoying yourself here today at the festival? I am enjoying myself extremely, yes. So you, do you think it's a really good idea that him are help, the charity him are helping people, the poor in Nottingham, the homeless people around Nottingham, do you think that's a great idea for them? It's a fantastic idea, brilliant idea, yeah. Yeah, I, I completely agree with this because there's so many people all over the world that don't have houses and we're so lucky to be under a shelter right now and some people, it's, it's raining right now and they're just on the floors, they don't have a bed to sleep on or anything like that. So I think it's a really, really good idea that him are helping people. So um, I heard, I've heard you've um, got an uh, invitation to go see the Queen. I have, yes. <laughs> 13th of, June, uh, 13th of June at Burnham Park at Baseford. Wow, you must be looking forward to that then. Oh God, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Yeah. So uh, do you enjoy working at, As working at Asda? I love working at Asda and I love my job. Getting out and about, meeting people, different people from all over the community, love it. So what exactly is your job? Uh, my job entails getting the local communities together, getting ASDA to work with our local communities, whether it's going into schools or helping with the homeless people, whatever whatever you want me to do, I can get you know I can get involved with. Thank you very very much. It was really really great speaking to you. All right, so that was uh, our very very special guest, and uh, thank you. Hello, and I've got a really unique, special uh, customer of Asda with me. Uh, hello. Hello. And uh, what's your name? Kwana. And uh, thank you for letting me interview you today. So, what are you up to today? You? I'm just shopping, basically, and then um, celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. That's about it, yeah. So you enjoying the Queen's Jubilee? It's great. She's been on the uh, throne for 60 years now. I know. I know. It's amazing. Uh, that's really amazing and um, Himma, that's a charity here that are helping um, raise money so they can help the homeless people in Nottingham. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, it definitely is a good idea. Anything that's charity based or helping homeless people I think is definitely a good idea, yeah. Yeah, because 
right now I'm so cold here and uh, people they don't even have shelter do you know what I mean they're on the floor sleeping and things like that so yeah um, have you had anything to, have you had anything to eat here yeah I've just um, ordered myself a burger because I'm starving so ordered myself a burger and yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it nice yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your interview yeah thank you bye Uh, uh, we have a very special guest with us. Um, so, hello. I am Daniel CPA Daniel Cam. Um, what's your name? CPA Daniel Cam. Uh, and uh, are you enjoying the event here today? I am. Yeah, it's uh, nice to see an event on um, and the community getting together to do something. So, do you like being a policeman? Is it a good job? Well, I'm a community protection officer. I do enjoy it. Um, certainly different to what I used to do. Um, keeps me busy. <laughs> yep, definitely. So uh, it's quite amazing how the Queen's been on the throne for 60 years, and uh, it's really good that the Asda and him at the charity here are like helping us, in, like entertaining us in this uh, sense of uh, things. So yeah, it's really good at that, and uh, it's charity here. Himma, they are a charity in Nottingham who help homeless people and I think that's a really great idea because right now it's raining in Nottingham and if you think about it there's so many like people like who are homeless and they don't have any shelter or anything so uh, right now we're lucky to be under a shelter right now but there's so many people right now in this rain don't have a house or anything do you think it's a great idea that him are trying to raise money for helpless and need like people who need homes and things Oh yeah, definitely. Anything raising money for people who are homeless is certainly a good thing. Especially um, in weather like this, it's, it's, it's uh, even worse. Thank you very, yeah, thank you very much for your interview today. It's been very nice talking to you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum. Thank you for letting the BTV interview you. So, what are you playing today? I play is Rabat. It's original from Afghanistan. And he's got a 21 string. And I uh, go to this country for education for British children. And I use my music for charity. Oh, really? That's excellent. Um, yeah, I can see because you're participating in a charity event today. That's a friend of mine, Toby. What are you playing for? Uh, I'm playing djembe, but I'm playing a kind of Arabic rhythms and a company something really. So. It's called Unique World. So we got around the country about 250 musicians, and um, they all sometimes uh, depend where I am. So they sometimes they all spiritual musicians. We play spiritual. Music. We don't play no film songs or anything. We only play spiritual music. Yeah, to connect it with the more with the um, spirit. Of life or with Allah and things like that. So that's, what that's definitely interesting. Um, it's not very common to hear people play musical instruments like that or things. So, what about you? What are you doing? I'm with the uh, Nottingham School of Samba, and I hope the other seven are going to turn up very quickly. Our old colleague, I used to be in the Samba School with them, but um, that's my our old colleague, yeah. Like I said to you, we want lots of musicians around the country to so that yeah. from Samba School. And um, that's uh, our friend Stephanie from, uh, uh, actually from America, she's a saxophone player. Yeah, and she's a spiritual musician too. So, Steph, say hello. Steph's a bit camera shy. Yeah. Say, Steph, say hello. <laughs> Hi, don't worry. Steph, <laughs> Steph's, Steph's a bit camera shy, but it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> So, no worries, it's not, it's not for everyone, but thank you for letting us interview you. So what do you think of this event that's happening today? Well, um, uh, very nice, but it's a bit cold and chilly, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, so what can I say? When it's, uh, it's <laughs> yeah, so... It's, but it's all for a charity, I think, is uh, we... Our music is going to make that event more warm up. Yeah, it definitely does. You can just hear it in the background and it's just nice to hear uh, music in the background. So will you play us uh, something out? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just go
thank you for um, being interviewed by the BTV. We just watched you and it was crazy, it was so fun. I've never seen anything like it before. So what was it you were doing? It was basically an Indian sword fight in martial arts. And basically, um, the store managers came in the rang up one day saying, could you just please do this for this charity event for the Jubilee? I goes, yeah, why not? So I'm just here now, just doing it, just done it now. Obviously, I've seen it all now. So that's about it, yeah. But being blindfolded and not knowing what you're doing, how does it feel? Because I was just scared watching it. <laughs> well, I know, it's, just, it's pretty scary, obviously, you know what I mean? Once, once you're blindfolded, you can't see anything. As you can see, I was so close to hitting the cameraman. <laughs> I'm sure he's pretty shy, he went red. But yeah, I mean, it's, you get the, you get, you're getting a sort of a different feeling. So yeah, it was okay. It was good. And where did you learn those amazing tricks? They were really good. Um, just basically, I've learned it. Like, I'm pretty, pretty much self-taught. Learn a bit from my mother, a bit from other people. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. How long did it take you to like perfect it? I've been doing it for myself. I've been doing it for just over 15 and a half years now. So it's been quite a while since I've done it. Yeah, anyway, um, thank you for doing that. It was just amazing to watch. I know everyone enjoyed it, and thank you for taking part in the charity event. And thank you for letting us interview you.